So Zoe, can you tell me a little bit about mediation? Yeah, certainly. So most couples upon separation start by trying to have direct discussions between themselves with the aim of reaching an agreement. But that's not always possible and quite often a couple needs some support from a third party. That's where mediation can come in and it involves the parties appointing a neutral third party who will help facilitate discussion between them. That sounds like it could be really helpful. Can you make somebody go to mediation? No. So mediation is a voluntary process and it involves both parties being willing to partake and come to mediation sessions with a genuine attempt to settle and compromise. Sounds like that might be a little bit difficult. So how does the mediator help? So the mediator's role is to facilitate discussion between the parties and edge you closer and closer to reaching an agreement. Mediators are often qualified family lawyers and so whilst they will not advise either of you, they will guide you on what a court might do if ultimately you're unable to agree. I imagine there's lots of things that you need to talk about. What can you discuss in mediation? So mediation can be tailored and very flexible. It's possible to deal with a whole host of issues in mediation. So everything from how you'll divide your money on divorce to discussions in relation to your children. And that can include who your children will spend time with and when, but also discrete issues such as which school they should attend or perhaps whether or not they should go on a specific holiday. It's also possible to deal with practical issues in mediation, which is partly what makes it unique. Those practical issues could be anything from who will care for your dog and when, how your joint account will be used, or even how your family home will be occupied whilst matters are addressed. Sounds like the mediator can do a lot and you can achieve a lot. Do you need a lawyer as well? You don't need a lawyer, but we encourage you to have a lawyer. Most of our clients find that that really helps them feel that they have somebody in their corner with their interests in mind. It also helps prepare for meetings so that you know what you're going to say and also helps after meetings when you can come and take advice from a lawyer to check that you're in the right ballpark. Once you reach an agreement, hopefully in mediation, you'll also then need a lawyer to help you formalise that agreement so that it becomes legally binding.